All I wanna do is ride around shining while I can afford it Plenty ice on my neck so I don't get nauseous Float around in the greatest of Porsches Feel like a chuck wagon cause I'm on 12 horses And the three behind mine oh. Hey guys, what's up? It is uh, Apple SDK Dev here Today, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to implement iAds into your application Now, I know there's been like lots of fuss going on about how to do it Some people say that there's code for it you really don't actually need to do it if you're doing it correctly. If you're going to submit the app to iTunes or the App Store, then you do need to change a couple of things in your iTunes Connect. But that's a whole other story. So today I'm just going to be teaching you how to put them into your app. You can even put them on, onto your phone with the ads, and it's very simple. No code at all, only a couple of things you need. So let's go ahead and get started by opening up Xcode. Uh, once you're here, you can uh, create a new project. Or if you want, you can just use the project you're already working on. It can be any kind of app. I'm just going to go with uh, window base because it's simplest, I guess. And I'm just going to call it test. I add. Uh, doesn't really matter. You can call it anything. I right, once it's opened up, just go ahead and make that whole window bigger. Open up all your stuff, classes, other sources, resources. And this time we're actually going to get the frameworks open first. What we want to do is go ahead and left click or controlled click uh, frameworks. And then go to add existing frameworks. And once you're here, you can go uh, to frameworks. And what you want to do is you want to add the iAd.framework. Now, if you're looking on that list and for some reason the iAd framework is not there, then what you can do is go ahead and left click it again, and you can add existing files, and then it will take you to your finder, and I guess you can just search it up here in your search. But hopefully it should be there under your frameworks. So once you've done that, go ahead into your uh, main window.xib. If you had done a view-based application, well, it would be whatever you called it. But uh, yeah, just go into your that main view controller right there. And once you're here, you can go ahead and mess around with it. Uh, you can really do whatever you want. I'm just going to go ahead and play around, make it nice and unique. I'm going to say, like, test I add. I don't know. You can really do whatever you want with this. Now, what we're going to need to do is go ahead and back in our library for objects, we're going to have to drag in the add banner view. It's as simple as that. I'm going to go ahead and put it right there. Now, they do have pretty strict limitations on how big it needs to be. As you can see right here in the banner view attributes, for the size wise, there are kind of three choices. Portrait would be normal, and that's going to be a size of 320 by 50. So basically, it's as wide as the width, and it's going to be about um, 50 for the height. Fortunately, they don't really let you. Well, actually, they just released the new software that it can be any size. I have not updated it, so my fault. Um, I'm still on running on 4.2. But if you have downloaded the new version of Xcode, you will be able to extend it to any size you want. But for now, I'm just showing you this kind. The other option is if you go back up here, you can make it so it works on landscape. As you can see, it's a lot thinner now, and now it's actually a height of 30. Unfortunately, you can't do it on the window base, so I can't really show you how it is because I can't rotate this. But as you can see, it extends very long, and that's actually 480. So basically, if you were in landscape mode, that would stretch all the way to both ends, but they did make it so it's a little bit shorter. I recommend if you're going to do this, go ahead and use both. That way, if you do choose to make it so you're... Um, app goes for like both sides if you can like rotate it during the app it'll actually it'll actually like change in the app when you rotate it but for now because i'm just using a window i'm just going to go with regular it doesn't really matter 50 meters by 320 it's pretty much it once you're done creating it you can go ahead and close that save it save it um once you're done make sure you're running on the simulator whatever firmware you want and that's about it but if you go ahead and choose all that right firmware and stuff and you uh, go ahead and build and run. It should open up just the way you want. Uh, right before, once it opens, just make sure you give it a minute. Sometimes it does take like a couple seconds for the actual iAd to pop up. So at first it'll just be your normal screen. But if you do give it some time, it should pop up perfectly. And then you're all set. Um, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, hit me up with some feedback. Love feedback. That's about it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks guys.